Steve the Mad Guy here and in this video I'm going to show you how to get your Safari Downloads button back. Lately I've had a few people ask me what happened to their download button in Safari. In a recent Safari update, Apple added a new feature that causes the Downloads button to disappear and reappear. I'm not sure why they felt the need to do this since the toolbar in Safari has quite a bit of empty space. It's not like they needed to do it to save space. Now technically you don't really need the Downloads button these days because unless you removed it you should have a Downloads folder in your dock. Of course, some people don't really like to use the dock, and sometimes old habits are hard to break. I still know people that move windows to the bottom or the edges of their screen instead of minimizing or using Mission Control or Expose if you're on an older version of Mac OS. So if you really want your Downloads button back, let me show you why it's disappearing and how you can get it back. In Safari, click on the Safari menu and select Preferences. On the General tab at the bottom of the window, you should see the option to remove download list items. By default, the option is set to After One Day but you can set it to clear items when you quit Safari or when the download is finished successfully. If you want the button to stay there semi-permanently, select Manually. The reason I say semi-permanently is because the button will still disappear if you manually clear all of the items in the list, but it will come back the next time you download something. If you're like most people, you never clear the downloads list, so the button should never go away. I left mine set to remove the button after one day. If I want to access a file I've downloaded, I'll just get it from the Downloads folder. The only time I ever use the Downloads button is to see how long a current download is going to take. If you found this video helpful, please take a minute to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that might find it useful. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more Apple tips and tutorials.